Saving and loading groups. We can save a group as a Revit extension or we can save it as a family extension or as a group. To do this we're going to go up to the application menu, the big R, hit the down arrow, and we're going to go down to save as. And over in save as we're going to do, go to library and then go to group. If we click on this we'll get a dialog box. We'll ask you know where do you want to save it? What folder do you want to save it? And so we've been working on furniture and I can have a folder in here called faculty offices. And I can have a file name here for the group. And I can say which group do I want to save? Well, I can pick any one of the groups I want. I can have my uh, desk and chairs group or whatever. And I can also um, change it, you know, uh, change my file name here to whatever file name I want. And I can save it. Now, when I save these groups, I uh, basically want to save it to somewhere on a server or on your local hard drive on your laptop and then that way you can build in folders with additional information of groups so um, so we add those in and then uh, you know we can insert these things in as uh, a group uh, uh, later on we can go in and um, load these into our projects uh, as we work and so you don't have to just create these groups and then they lose them in this particular project you can use them in other projects uh, uh, later on